Hello everyone, this is Oz the Cat, and recently I've been getting a lot of comments asking if someone should buy Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, and today I would like to give you five things you should probably think about before you decide to buy the game. The first thing that's kind of hiding in plain sight for some people is that you need the Windows 10 operating system. People forget that, I guess, sometimes? I don't know. I've heard that people have bought the game and they don't have a Windows 10 operating system. Just make sure you have it, and if you don't want to upgrade, you probably should not get the Windows 10 edition, but I thought I would point that out just in case you need it. Okay, before you hit that buy button at $9.99, which is a discounted price during the beta period, I think. If you have the Java version of Minecraft, please get the game for free, okay? Don't don't pay $9.99 if you have the Java version already because all you have to do is go to the Mojang website, enter your my, my your Mojang account details and you can get a code and get this game for free. So, Please, don't pay for the game because I'm pretty sure you have to go through like some sort of process to get a refund and nobody wants that. I've also been getting a lot of comments that people say, oh, Minecraft Windows 10 Edition is stupid or it's like not as good as the regular PC version. Well, that's not what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be better than the Java Minecraft. It's meant for a different device. It's meant for a touchscreen device that supports Windows 10. Like, for example, the Microsoft Surface or, I don't know, what are other touchscreen devices that run Windows 10? Any sort of, like, like consumer laptop. Most of them have touchscreens, so like Ultrabooks and stuff. And it's also for laptops and things like that that don't have a whole lot of power resources or processing power. Like, once again, the Surface <laughs> and other like ultra thin laptops like that. Like this game is not meant for a full on desktop PC. If you want an experience for that, just get the regular version of Minecraft, the Java version of Minecraft, because that's what it's meant for. And it's meant for a mouse and keyboard. But the Windows 10 edition is meant for any sort of control. Like you can use mouse and keyboard, you can use a touch screen, you can use a controller. And it's supposed to be versatile, even though I know it's only for Windows 10, but it's supposed to be versatile. So don't complain about being able to use a touchscreen or a controller or whatever you want to use. Like, don't complain about that. <laughs> That's the purpose of this game, and it's not extremely resource needy. Like, it's not going to make you, make your not super powerful computer go down to like 15 FPS when you play it. That's not the point. So I wanted to point that out because so many people complain about that and it, it just frustrates me. So that's basically the main point of this video, but we'll move on from that. Something else to keep in mind before playing this game, if you want to play mostly on servers and you want to play games like The Hunger Games or mini games and stuff like that, Keep in mind that these servers are really designed for Minecraft PE players. And first of all, if you're playing on a mouse and keyboard, you're probably going to have an unfair advantage against the touchscreen players because it's way easier to play with a mouse and keyboard and it's way easier to move and attack with a mouse and keyboard. So I thought I would point that out. A prime example of this is in my Hunger Games video where I play on Minecraft Windows 10 on a survival game server and I kind of annihilate everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, and the second point with that is that you might experience some glitches on those servers. Also, if you watch that Hunger Games video, I'll have a link up to it somewhere, maybe as a card or something. Um, you're probably going to experience some glitches as well because it's not designed for Windows 10. Even though they're really similar, it's still not exactly the same, and I experienced some glitches while I was playing. So I thought I would point that out as well. And the last thing that you should think about before you decide to buy this game is that 
it might take a while for mods to really be implemented in this game. I do expect them to be a part of it at some point because that's just what people do if they like mods, they try to mod the game. But because this game is in the C++ programming language, it might take people that like to mod and the Java version of Minecraft some time to adjust to that new language because they always did the mods in Java, which was what the Java version of Minecraft was made from obviously but um yeah it might take him a little while to adjust and it might take a while for some new mods to really develop for this game version but i do see a good future for this game i didn't want to deter you from buying it but i just thought i would give you some things to think about before you decided to buy them um or buy it um i think it's a great game i've played it for a while i've played it on my surface which is why I used it as an example a lot um, and it's great it's a great experience with the touch screen I love it it's great if you have a touch screen laptop running Windows 10 I would highly recommend that you get Minecraft on it if you want to play it instead of the regular Java version of Minecraft because it's likely not going to run as well and it's gonna be harder to play because it's not really meant to pl be played with touch screen so, yeah, I think it's a great game. This is just some stuff to think about. But that's it for this one. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, do subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!